Hey, what's up everybody? Gratuitous here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the pitch wheel and the mod wheel in FL Studio. This is going to work for any MIDI keyboard. As you can see, I have the M Audio Oxygen Pro. Here is the pitch wheel and the mod wheel. If you're looking for a good MIDI keyboard for FL Studio, I really like this MIDI keyboard. It has semi-weighted keys in the 49 key model that is hard to find. And it's also pretty jam packed with the sliders, the knobs, drum pads. So let's get into the pitch wheel and mod wheel tutorial. Before getting into the video, if you guys would like to learn FL Studio, check out my free book called Five Keys to a Successful Beat. So simple it becomes creative. Get it by going to itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys. Okay, so here I just got Nexus loaded up. You can see I have the pitch wheel and the mod wheel right down there. I'll move it on my MIDI keyboard now. So the mod wheel is working. The pitch wheel is kind of broken. I'll show you how to fix that as well. And I'll also show you how to set this up. So all you have to do is click current project, go remote control, and this is where both the mod wheel and the pitch wheel are, okay? The pitch wheel is actually your channel pitch, which is this up here. So if I move my pitch wheel, you can see it's actually moving this. So to set this up, you just go remote control. Let's just do the mod wheel. You just left click it. This is gonna pop up, okay? I would suggest to enable smoothing. It makes it look a little bit better as you're moving the mod wheel. And just simply move the mod wheel, and that's it. And so now if I um, select Nexus, you can see that the mod wheel works, okay? To set up the pitch wheel, it's the exact same thing. You're just going to go remote control, channel pitch. All you have to do is just enable smoothing, okay? And then you just move your pitch wheel, okay? Now, when it comes to the M Audio Oxygen Pro, it's kind of broken, but what I found out is it's actually FL Studio, the way how they set up the pitch knob up here. So if I move the pitch, you can see that it's moving up here. It's also moving down where my mouse is. Okay, but you can see it's not going full and all you have to do is just increase the range and that's it So if we go up to like 10, you can see we can get the max and um, The minimum so that's it. That's how you set it up I'll show you just in another synth just to give you an example. So here is serum. It's a little harder to see they're a little smaller So here is the mod wheel that is set up Okay, and then the pitch wheel you can see it's only going a little bit and all you have to do is just click the cog and Here is the pitch. So we'll go up to like 10. Okay, and watch Boom, boom. And if I hit some notes. And if you want to set up the mod wheel, here is the mod in Serum. You can just put that to like detune, make sure you actually have a couple voices. And uh, here. Okay, so that is this tutorial for how to set up your pitch wheel and your mod wheel in FL Studio. I'm Gratuitous. If you guys would like to learn FL Studio, check out my website, itsgratuitous.com. I'm a recognized FL Studio trainer. I have tons of courses, tons of books. Just visit itsgratuitous.com. I'll talk to you guys in the next tutorial.